All right, welcome to the Marshall Sports Network. This is I'm Grant, and this is Blaze. Were you expecting me to say something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's up? How you doing? Great. How about yourself? Doing, doing good. Doing good. I was not I. I didn't know what to expect right there. <laughs> it's was, was like, do I say my name? Do I not? I, I didn't know. So, hey, we want to let you know that uh, this is uh, this is our first conference game. This is a big game right here for Marshall, and uh, we do want to let you know that uh, we're not going to be broadcasting with audio for this junior high boys game, but we're going to keep the uh, the camera on. So, Chris Grant, you want to you want to say something? Talk a little bit during this game? Yeah. All right, we'll let you take it away. All right. Number zero pushes in. Could be a foul. And number 23, Rocky Smith. Just like that, that'll be Cedar Ridge first foul right there. Yep. Sorry, you're you're wanting to talk. Sorry. <laughs> number three passes it to five. Or number twelve back over to number five over to three. Zero goes in for a quick three. No good. Doesn't fall. They still it. They going for. A Quick floater, and it's good. First one second one falls right in. Stolen by Cedar Ridge. Number three goes in. Doesn't get past our defense. 20 over to one. Luke Harness, Luke Harness to Rocky. There's going to be a foul called. Number 12. Zero to ten to five. 
over to number 12. Move over to 10, over to 35. 35 over to five, back to zero. 35 goes in for a quick floater. It falls, it's good. Gonna be stolen, intercept. Well, not intercepted, but stolen by Cedar Ridge. Cedar Ridge with the quick floater. It's not gonna fall. Rebound, and it's it's good. It's gonna be a timeout called. I think by Cedar Ridge. Nope. Home. Home. Number 10 with the quick jumper. Not gonna fall. Defense, 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 defense. 24 goes in for a quick floater, jumper. And it's gonna fall. Score is two to seven. Cedar Ridge up by five. Number 12 over to five, five with the quick three. It's not gonna fall. 35 goes in for the rebound. That's not gonna fall. Bobcats re regain possession. Couch goes in for a quick floater. He's gonna be fouled. By number 10. It's going to be number 10's first foul. Rocky with the quick three. Three goes in for the shot, the layup. Not layup, sorry. Uh, just a quick shot. Not gonna fall. Or it did. Did it? No. Yeah. No.
33, over to 35, over to 10. Number three with a quick three, it's not gonna fall. Number 35 with the rebound in it, he just sinks it. Five seconds left on the clock. It's gonna be out of bounds. 1.4 seconds left on the clock. That's gonna be the end of the first quarter. All right, you are watching the Marshall Sports Network. We will be back with you in about a minute. So please do not go anywhere. Oh, and the score is four to 11 right now. All right, we are gonna be back going into the second quarter. Score is four to 11. Bobcats are down by seven. Cedar Ridge up by seven. Cole hands it over to Rocky. Rocky over to Eli. Don't really have a sheet. I don't know some of the names. Eli hands it over to Rocky. Rocky with the quick three. It's not gonna fall. It's a great save. Gary Blair goes in for a quick jumper. Eli sinks it in. Score six to 11. Bobcats are climbing back up. Fifteen over to three, over to 35, 35 with a quick floater. You know, Grant, we fall. just, that kid, he is a beast and he's giving us some problems. I mean, when he's underneath he's that goal and he goes up for two, he's I'm, making them. I mean, he's tall. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? He's got significant height. Bobcats just got to make sure that they continue to score, and that's exactly yes. what they're doing. Yeah, we are we are coming back. We're fighting. Five-point difference. It was just like that. We intercepted it. Okay, Grant, I'll let's, let's take it back over. Cedar Ridge has the ball, hands it over to 35, over to five with a quick three, and it's gonna fall. Sinks right in. He can hands it over to Cole, or uh, yep, Cole. Drops it right in.
be a timeout called by Cedar Ridge. You know, I think I know why they called a timeout. It's because we are coming back. You know? Yeah. Hey, I just want to make an announcement. I just got a notification on this. This is breaking news. This is coming in right now, okay? It's loading for me. But if I'm reading this right, did I just read this right? Hold on. Let me pull it up. It's about Hogs and the Razorback football program. All right, number five over to number 10. It's going to be out of bounds. Bobcats have the ball. goes in for the quick jumper it's not gonna fall number five of Cedar Ridge grabs the ball ten over to five it's gonna be taken by the Bobcats just sinks it right in so Bobby Petrino listen to this do you know who that is Grant he's a Razorback coach for okay several years several years ago yeah. he has now agreed to become the arkansas offensive coordinator oh that's huge yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on with the arkansas razorbacks we won't get into news. that but i'm telling you bobby petrino is going to be the next offensive coordinator that is huge Number 15 over to 12. 12 with a quick jumper. It's going to fall. Number 35 goes in for a quick floater. Oh, just fighting for the ball. See, Ridge still has the ball. Gonna be out of bounds on the Bobcats. with a quick jumper. Not going to fall. 35 with the rebound. It's good. Cole hands it over to Ryland. All right, handed over to number 15. 15 over to 12. 12 goes in for the quick jumper. It's not going to fall. Bobcats take the ball. Just a fight for the ball. Barkey goes in for the quick layup, and it's good. Number five over to zero. Zero goes in for the quick jumper, not gonna fall. It's gonna be out of bounds. 
ball is going to be in possession of the Bobcats. Rocky hands it over to Cole. Pull over to Rocky. Rocky hands it over to Cole. It's going to be stolen by Cedar Ridge. 15. Quick layup. It's good. Score is 14-22. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Cole hands it over to Eli. It's going to be a foul call. going to be the end of the second quarter. We're going to be going into halftime. It's like the junior high cheerleaders. Going to come out. So uh, we're going to put them on the screen. So we're going to take a quick break. You are watching the Marshall Sports Network. Do not go anywhere. We'll
welcome back. Uh, I just want to point out, uh, Mary Halstead, I would like to welcome you to our live stream. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, remember, this is an interactive live stream. Feel free to leave a comment. Ryland, Ryland goes in for the quick jumper, not going to fall. Number 12, Cedar Ridge has the ball. It's going to be a push foul called on number 23. It's going to be his second foul. be out of bounds. Cole hands it over to Rocky. Back over to Cole. Cole hands it to Ryland. timeout called by the Bobcats. Looks like they're coming up with a plan, you know. It's third quarter. Making a plan to get, you know, back up. Hands it over to Rocky. It'll be stolen by Cedar Ridge. It's not going to fall. Number three over to five, over to zero, back to three. Three over to number five. It's going to be stolen by the Bobcats. be a foul called on Keegan. It's going to be his third foul. Keegan hands it over to Ryland. Ryland over to Cole. It's going to be a foul called on number three. It's going to be a second foul. Hands it over to Rocky. Rocky goes in. It's going to be stolen by Cedar Ridge. Just a quick jumper. It's going to fall. Score is 14 26, third quarter. About three minutes and 45 seconds left.
12 with it. He'll give it to 35 right underneath the goal. And it'll be good for two points. 14-28 is your score right now. Grant, you've been doing a good job, buddy. Thank you. Cole Moran. Look into Jerry. Grant, I'll let you take back over. called on number three it's going to be his third foul of the game first one's going to fall second one's good Rocky hands it over to Eli. Eli over to Luke. Going to be another foul called. Number 12. It's going to be a second foul. Cedar Ridge steals the ball. 12 with the quick three. It's not going to fall. Stolen again by Cedar Ridge. Cedar Ridge, quick jumper, not going to fall. They go in for the rebound, and it falls. Rocky hands it over to Cole. Pull over to Luke. Luke hands it over to Eli, but it's going to be stolen by Cedar Ridge. Foul called. Number five. Or 15. Pushed him. It's going to be his first foul of the game. Cole hands it over to Rocky. Rocky over to Luke. Luke with the quick three. And he just sinks it. Those are the shots that we need to make. Crucial. Score is 19-30, third quarter. One minute and 50 seconds left on the clock. Be a foul called on one, Luke Harness. It's going to be his first foul. First one's not going to fall. Second one's good. going to be a foul call on number five. It's going to be his first foul. First one's good. Second one's good. Good sportsmanship by Cedar Ridge.
five hands it over to number four, four over to number 15. 15 over to 35, over to five, five with the quick three, and it just falls right in. All right, we're going to be back. Third quarter, one minute, 25 seconds left, 21-34. Cole hands it over to Rocky. Rocky hands it over to Luke, over to Eli. Rocky goes in for the quick jumper and it's going to fall. <laughs> Foul called on number 23, Rocky Smith. It's going to be his third foul. Bobcats just stripped the ball away. Gonna be a foul called on number 15. It's gonna be a second foul. One's up, not going to fall. Second one's not going to fall. Ten over to number four, over to five. Five over to 35. It's going to be out of bounds. On Cedar Ridge. Bobcats have possession of the ball. Score is 23-34, third quarter. 35 seconds left on the clock. Rocky hands it over to Luke. Luke hands it over to Rocky. Rocky hands it over back to Luke. Over to Keegan. Keegan over to Luke. Over to Cole. Cole with the quick three. It's not going to fall. with the three, no good. Scores 23-34, 1.1 seconds left on the clock. Third quarter, this quarter is gonna be coming to an end. All right, that's gonna be end of the third quarter. We're gonna take a short break. You are watching the Marshall Sports Network. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back shortly.
All right, we're back in the fourth quarter. Five minutes, 50 seconds left, 23-34. Did you see that reverse layup? That was impressive that's, by Cedar Ridge. Yeah, Red. that's impressive. Holy cow. Rocky hands it over to Keegan. Keegan over to Rocky. It's going to be out of bounds. Cedar Ridge is playing some really good defense. Yeah, they are. Aggressive. Timeout called by the Bobcats. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, we're back. Fourth quarter, five minutes, 32 seconds left on the clock, 23-36. Cole hands it over to Eli. Eli, a quick jumper. It's going to fall. It's good. 25-36. Go over to five. Woo, it's going to be stolen by the Bobcats. Rocky goes in quick jumper. It's going to be a foul call on them. Or, uh, yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah, a foul called on number three. It's going to be a second foul. I don't know if I'm correct, but I think they put the foul on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Did they? Who was that on just now? I think on Cedar Ridge. Okay. It had three. Come out. We've got a player down. Got a player down. We're gonna we're gonna take a break. We'll be back with you. Don't go anywhere. So that was uh, Keegan Sanford. He's in some some pain, but he's got a smile back on his face, Grant. That's, That's good, good to That's see. That's good. Because yeah. I just—they blew the whistle and pointed. We looked down. There's a guy on the floor. That did not look good. Stephen Harris says the last foul was charged to number three of the Bobcats. Yep. Three. Oh, okay. See it now. Sorry, they they uh, sub someone in. I just didn't notice it. It's all right, Grant. No worries. <laughs> 
I'm letting you take care of all the play-by-play. -play Cole the hands it over game. to Jerry. It's not going to fall. Or no, not Jerry. Uh, sorry, um, Connor. <sighs> they both have kind of the same hair, you know, from the, you know. Did you see that move? Kind of like a, I, I don't know what he did there for a Cedar Ridge. Who goes in for the quick jumper, not gonna fall. Cedar Ridge, uh, number three, goes in quick jumper, it's gonna fall. Score is 25-38, fourth quarter, three minutes, 42 seconds left on the clock. Hands it over to five, back to zero. Zero with the quick three. It's not going to fall. It's going to be a walk. Rocky hands it over to Cole. Cole over to... Luke, Luke with the quick three, and it's good. Yes, sir. sir oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said sir the exact same time I was trying to. Hey, uh, we knew we were going to say yes, sir. That was yeah, good. That was good. All right. Score is 28 to 38, fourth quarter. Hey. Two minutes, 59 seconds left on the clock. Want to make note, Keegan Sanford, he checked back in the game. He's That's good. That's good. That's good. Walking it off. I knew when. You know, when he got back up and he was smiling, I was like, he's probably going to be all right. And he's back in the game. Plus, his mom went over there to check on him, and she came she came and sat right back down quickly. So I knew he was okay because you know, if, it was, if it was serious, she would have stayed. So that, yeah. was, that was the first clue that things were okay. Cole passes it to Rocky. Rocky back over to Cole, over to Keegan. He goes in for the quick jumper, not going to fall. Go with the rebound, and it's good. Number five hands it over to number 15. 15 over to number 10. 10 over to 35, and 35 just puts it right in. Could be a foul called number five. It's going to be his. They did not put up a fouls for him. Hmm. I guess first, first foul, I think. I, I don't quite remember. Luke hands it over to Rocky. It's going to be out of bounds on Cedar Ridge. Two minutes left in this quarter, 30-41. 30-43 now, two minutes left. It's going to be stolen by Cedar Ridge. Number 35 goes in for the quick jumper. like there was another foul called? Was there? 
Seeing two fouls on both teams. I don't quite know. Number five has two fouls. I think for Bobcats Comeran. Keegan hands it over to Luke. Luke back over to Keegan. Keegan with the reverse. Shot. Not gonna fall. 35 with a quick three. It's not gonna fall. It'll be a push foul. Called a number 15. It's his third foul. It's a minute 23 seconds left in the quarter. 30-45. Rocky goes in. Quick jumper, it's not gonna fall. Cedar Ridge just grabs the ball. Gonna be a walk called. Technical foul on number 15, and that'll be his fourth foul. He threw the uh, ball down real hard, didn't he? I, I don't know. I wasn't watching. I was watching. I, I saw him. I saw him. You know, in anger, you know, chunk that ball down to the floor. So well, I, I, he was. Well, that ref was over here towards the coach. So I thought it was something to do with the coach, but it wasn't. He he signaled it was 15, and that's his fourth foul. I, I honestly, I think it's because you know he, he threw it on the ground. I think you're right, but I didn't see it. But I'm trusting you on that. That that's correct. I think. Steven was watching. I bet he'll comment. I was watching the game, but I was more focused on... Uh, Cole hands it over to Rocky. Rocky hands it over to Keegan. Cedar Ridge grabs the ball. 35 over to number five. 48 seconds left. 10 for the quick three. It's not going to fall. 10 for the rebound. Holding? What? No. Foul called. Holding? I thought I heard holding. Holding called on number one. It's gonna be a second. Number five for the quick jumper. It's gonna fall. Rocky hands it over to Jerry. Jerry goes in for the quick layup, and it's good. 16, 15 seconds left on the clock. It's going to be 34 to 47. Thirty-four for the quick jumper, not going to fall. That's going to be the ball game, everybody. Score ending score is 34 to 47. Cedar Ridge takes the victory on this one. All right. Uh, the next game is going to be the senior high girls, so just bear with us for a minute. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we're going to leave the prayer on for you. So uh, you are watching the Marshall Sports Network. Please do not go anywhere.
All right, we are back. We're gonna be starting the senior high girls game. About to have the tip off here in just a second. Well, Grant, I ask you this every night. How you feeling? Feeling, feeling good, good tonight. Yourself. I'm feeling good. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a good matchup. This is gonna be our first conference game of the season. So they're telling our students, telling our students to back up. That didn't take long. <laughs> we didn't even. We blew the first whistle and pulled it back up. Here we go. Cedar Ridge has got it. We're in the game. Whoa. 30 on the shot clock. There we go. All right. Now we're ready. Please with it. Look it over to five. And they're setting up a play. Five's just going to drive in. It's not going to fall. Bobcats with a rebound. Audrey, and she's going to pass it down. Look at Anna Raglan. Tried to give it over to Izzy. It will be too much of a pass. A little too hard. And unfortunately, it will be out of bounds on the Bobcats. Cedar Ridge is going to have it. Ten's going to inbound the ball. Look at the 15 to five. And Michaela's there to intercept that pass. We're going to have a foul on number 25. I saw contact there. Yeah, that was a it was a quick foul that was called. You know, if they wouldn't have called that, I think Marshall fans would have probably made some noise, Grant, don't you think? Yeah. Here we go. Michaela's got it. Looking over to Izzy. Miley, top of the key. Thought about shooting the three. Got Audrey in the wing. Anna Raglan. Michaela. Good ball movement. Audrey. And she's looking over to Miley. Back to Izzy. They wanted to find somebody wide open to shoot a three-pointer, but I'm going to tell you, the defense is very strong from Cedar Ridge. However, three is going to be charged with that foul. That's two fouls so I far. I want, uh, want to make a quick comment, you know, on that foul before, you know, near the ref. I mean, it was kind of what you said. The, uh, we call it obvious night. fouls. Obvious fouls because yeah. it was, you know, right. Whoa. So here we go. Cedar Ridge has got it. Five. Coach for Cedar Ridge calling a play. Looking to 10. 15. 25. Got it. 15 with it. Five. Staying outside the perimeter but decided to drive in. Izzy's there to get the steal. She's on a fast break. She goes up, layups, good. Give it to her, two to nothing. Good start for the Bobcats right here. Two point lead. We're gonna put the scoreboard up. Wanna let you know, uh, we went ahead and took down the time option on there i know it still says it on the on the graphic i haven't had a chance to update that yet but the time is off there and the reason being is because it's a network camera it's, it's got a timing issue so we'll try our best it's through the network so there's a little bit of lag there so uh the timing of what it shows in the game may be a couple seconds different than what uh it really is so i'll let you know that Miley, looking to Michaela, back to Izzy, three-pointer, not going to fall, Anna Raglan with a rebound, whoa, <laughs> Michaela, again this is conference game, this is a big game right here. These are not the games where you, know, you try different things, Grant. This is the game where you know what you're going to do. Yeah. 
And we're seeing that right now. Bobcats again with a two-point lead. Michaela thought about taking the three-pointer. She'll give it to Miley. Miley with the three-pointer in the wing. It's not going to fall. Michaela with the rebound. Anna. And she's just going to go up for the quick floater. It's going to bounce out. And it will not go in. Cedar Ridge with a rebound. And they're making their way back across the court. Bobcat fans getting loud in here. I like it. Ten. 15, 25, 10, three-pointer, and it's going to be good. It's going to put them in the lead. Two to three. Audrey, Michaela, Miley, other side wing. Oh, man, that looks good. It's just not going to fall. And a Raglan steps back and she busts the three that pointer. Was great. That was good. We need to do that. We've got a timeout a called for Cedar Ridge. Bobcats have a five point lead. I'll t or not five point lead, but a five to three. Bobcats have a two hey, point lead. We need lead. to continue those three pointers right there. You know, just the. Yeah, Grant, I really like what I'm seeing. Bobcats. Too, yeah. They came to fight tonight, that's for sure. They have. Here we go, Cedar Ridge inbounds the ball, looking to 10. We don't have a roster for Cedar Ridge, so we apologize. It was almost, that play was almost read by Anna to get the steal, 10 with a wing three-pointer, it's not gonna fall. Grant, I was fixing to say, I, that, looked, that looked like it was going in. I was about to say, Cedar Ridge was fixing to take the lead. The Bobcats have it. Let's see what they do, let's see if they do a three-pointer. And we're going to have another foul on Cedar Ridge. We're going to charge that to number three. That'll be her second foul. She's got to be careful. Don't want to get in foul trouble. Anna, wide open. It will not fall. Back to Anna. That's the pump fake. Looking over to Michaela. Izzy, three-pointer wing, looks good, and it just bounces out. All of our shots are bouncing out. Three minutes and 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Five with it. Looking to 15. Three goes up. They're going to... Call the Bobcats on a foul. Let's see who they charge the foul to. No, they're not. They're going to. I assume. I thought he was going to get on a foul, but never mind. No foul. I would say three seconds in the lane. Because she's right underneath that goal and she was stuck. Michaela's going to drive in. Quick floater is good. I like our momentum tonight. We, we are moving. Absolutely. We're in position. Great defense and great offense tonight. with that. I've got a roster now on Scorebook Live, so I hope I, I hope I say everybody's names correctly. If not, let me know, but it's going to take me a minute to uh, get everybody. On that uh, previous play, Michaela went in for a quick three-pointer, but it did not fall. Emily's got it. 
And she'll pass it over to JC. Back to Emily. And Izzy's there to get that defensive stop. You know Izzy wants to take a three-pointer. Right, Miley into Michaela in the inside, and it's good. We've got a foul called on Anna Raglan. That's a quick foul. It's her first. Not seeing any kind of pressing, really, from the Bobcats right now. And Grant, sometimes you do that, but sometimes you don't. In a yeah. conference game, you got to be careful because as you press, you're more likely to foul. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. And you definitely don't want to get in foul trouble in a conference game. No, no. They, Good defense. In, in, in a conference game like this, Cedar Ridge is a great Three team. Three-pointer. And, you and she sinks it. Number five, Emily. I believe that's And we do Hanky. not, we do not want any of our Bobcats in foul trouble tonight. You know, that's. Okay. We're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to be in favor of Cedar Ridge. So they're going to have it. They're going to take out number three, Clara. And they're going to put in, let's see. Who was that? Number 14, Destiny. Going to be 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Miley in the corner, goes inside. You got Michaela in the wing, and that's, that's good. good. That is good. That's what I'm talking about. Bobcats keeping this intensity going, keeping the offense rolling. Here we go. Emily's got it. 15 seconds left. Defense is very strong, tries to get the steal, and we're going to have a foul on the Bobcats. Bobcats almost had the steal there. They were in possession of it, but then just quickly lost it. Cedar Ridge was able to recover it. And then they went up for the shot, got fouled. So now we got Emily at the line. Emily Pankey. Audrey, she's tried to do a reverse layup. It was last touched. By the Bobcats. Cedar Ridge is going to throw it out of bounds. Bobcats going to have it. I think that she's probably just going to hand it over to Anna. But you got one second. Izzy, quick jumper, she sinks it right at the buzzer. Just like that, Bobcats are going to finish the first quarter. 14-8, Bobcats have a good lead. Cedar Ridge, this is a big game. Conference. Bobcats are up six points. We're going to be heading into the second quarter here in just a second. Is it just me or did that first quarter fly by? It's going pretty quick tonight. I like those quick games, but I also sometimes like them to be, you know, lengthy. Let me tell you one thing. Because guess what? A lengthy game. It's an intense and great game. Not saying that, you know, fast ones are bad. It's just, you know, I like that intensity. Right. Kind of. You know. Which I do see this here. I feel like there's a lot of stress. Well, it's a pretty intense game. I mean, it's a conference game, so. Yeah. Uh, first one of the first game of the conference, and. Number five goes in for the quick floater. It's, it's gonna be good. 
and Araglin with it. Going to give it to Audrey. Michaela, wing, three-pointer. That will not fall. Cedar Ridge with a rebound. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor of the Bobcats. called on number 10, first foul, Kayla Blair. That'll be JC. Up for two shots. JC Skaggs. Good. Second one falls right in. It's currently right now at 16 to 10. Bobcats have a six point lead on Cedar Ridge, the Timberwolves. We're going to have a foul on number 10, Izzy Harness. That will be a shooting foul. It's going to put Emily to the line. For two shots. Emily Panky. Is it Panky? Panky, I think. It's a weird name. You know, it's just interesting. It's, it's, yeah. Usually, you don't, you don't usually see names like that, but it's interesting. Well, I think, I could be totally wrong on this, but Allie and Emily, they have the same last name. So I assume they're sisters. sisters. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. And a Raglan three-pointer, it's not gonna fall. Number three with a rebound, looking to 25. You know, we have a- uh, Over to Allie. Michaela and Audrey, and then uh, Emily and- Emily and Allie. Allie. I think, I mean, if we're wrong on this, Cedar Ridge people, there is a chat option on YouTube. You can chat with us if y'all don't mind. Yeah, let us Let's know Let's know if we're saying this right, because I mean, some yeah. of these, I, I don't, I'm not the greatest at pronouncing names at times, so Neither I Neither am I. Wanna make sure I'm saying them right. Miley Harris in the corner, looking to Parker. Anna. We're keeping along the perimeter. Look, look at the passes. But Miley Harris, wide open, three-pointer. She's got it. Make it 19 to 10. Bobcats with a nine-point lead. 10 with it. Look at the 25. Back to five. Emily's got it. Right to her sister, Allie. To Leela. Try to give it to inside to Emily. Bobcats are there, and they're just gonna throw that out of bounds. Little too much power on that pass. The out of bounds. Cedar is gonna inbound. I thought that was 14 for a minute. I couldn't see the nine. It is tough to see our scoreboard where we're at. We're gonna have over the back call on Audrey. Yep. So, so um, what is that over the back call? C could you kind of explain that to me real quick? Basically, where they get the ball, and you're just basically you're just over them, like you're not giving them any room, and you're you're con chances are you're elbowing them at some point. Oh, okay. You're over them enough, you're elbowing at some okay. some level. Most of the time, when you see a call, I don't know that they necessarily call it over the back, but that's, that's what it means. Now we're going to have a foul. Fifteen. Yeah, they're saying, uh, our announcer here is saying it, so. Ali Pinky. She was charged with that foul. Parker, three-pointer. She lit it up on the three-pointers the other night, and she is on a roll tonight. 22-10, Bobcats. But we just gotta be careful because we cannot get into foul trouble. They're calling fouls quickly here. 
Parker charged with that foul. It'll be her first foul. I like that they're calling it, though. Team's third foul. Yeah. I agree with you. Emily looking to Alley. JC looking to number three. Clara, and she puts it in. It's good for two points. Anna Raglan looking to Miley. Back to Anna. Parker, three pointer. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, we're going to have two three pointers in a row. It's 22 to 12. Bobcats have a good lead going here. It's a good game, Grant. Yeah, it is. Emily with it. Bobcats and she are really goes up for up the quick tonight. drive. It's not going to fall. They're going to give it right to Michaela. Just sinks it right in. The sisters, the Blair girls, Audrey and Michaela. I still can't get over that. There's two sets of sisters on both teams. Allie, I think or, uh, I, I'm just two. Okay, uh, chances are with them having the same last name. I mean, they're either sisters or really close family members. I bet you they're sisters. More than likely. Drives up. It's good. 26-12. Bobcats really continuing to put an increase on this lead. Bobcats are really holding up on that defense tonight. Emily over to JC. And it's stolen by Parker. Out on Cedar Ridge. Okay. Yep. You're right. Cedar Ridge went in to try to steal the ball, knocked it out, and it was last touched by a Cedar Ridge player. Molly. She's looking to inbound it. She gets to Anna Raglan. Miley. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 29 to 12. We are making a lot of three pointers tonight. We are on fire. Our offense, I would say, is absolutely on fire right now. Yes, I do agree, boys. Floater is good for Cedar Ridge. And a Raglan. Looking to Michaela. Back to Parker. Try to give it to inside to Audrey. Cedar Ridge is there to read the play perfectly. Try to trap her in the corner. I just want to bring something up that I've noticed. Um, have you ever noticed how that a lot of gyms have the same, like, wooden flooring? They have the same design. Some of them. Like, like I mean, the wood. It's like the yeah, same. Yeah, see what you're saying. Yeah. Probably the same company. And a rack of three-pointer. Yes! Back to back. We're on fire. 32-16. 16-point lead for the Bobcats. Senior high girls game. Grant Camp for you cannot ask for anything better right now. This is this is an excellent performance by our Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, there is still time for you to get here. Especially for the senior high boys game. Which so is going encourage. to be a great game. Oh, it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a challenge, let me tell y'all. In my opinion, it's probably going to be one of the hardest conference games we play this season. Because I've, I've, I've just heard, you know, Cedar Ridge, pretty good. Miley three-pointer. It's not going to fall. They're the best, one, one of the best in the, uh, in the conference. Aren't no they? doubt. Bobcats can take them. Well, we're really good, too. Come on, yeah. Absolutely. Quick floater. <laughs> We are. Four seater in. 32 20. Michaela's got it. Looks to Miley. Inside to Michaela. Anna Raglan in the corner. I like that play. Good ball movement. Looks to, looks to Michaela in the low post. She's going to drive right back up. Some contact. No call. Cedar Ridge coach wanting a walk on us. Did not get it. Cedar Ridge does have it. 51 seconds to go. I've got to do better at saying the time, Grant. 
If I'm not saying the time pretty often, you got to get on my case. Well, I won't, I won't do that, but it's about 39. And that's an over-the-back foul on, that's an over-the-back foul on number 10, J.C. Parker with it, looking to Audrey inside to Michaela and a foul. And just want to let you know, JC, that was her third foul. And they're going to now charge that to Emily Hanky. And that will be her first. It's five to three on the foul count, which means it was a shooting foul. But regardless, Bobcats are still going to the line for two shots. Free throw is up and it is good. 33 to 20. There we go. They updated the score. Really liking this offense that we're playing tonight. Well, we're missing a couple free throws, Grant. We didn't miss really any yesterday. So we just got to make sure we make free throws. Uh, we're okay. 10 seconds left. Quick spin move. And to halftime. 33-20 is your score. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with you. You're watching the Marshall Sports Network. Don't go anywhere. All right, before we cut the break, we got the cheerleaders. So we will show them, and then we'll cut the break.
And we're back into the action. Fixing to start this third quarter. It's 33-20 is your score. But a All right, and they're gonna call a walk on Michaela. Let me refresh the scoreboard here, make sure it's updated. So right now your score is 33-23. Bobcats have a 10 point lead. Ten with it. A pass. And the Bobcats are going to have it. Here we go. Izzy. Anna Ragland, top of the key. It's stolen by Cedar Ridge on their own. A quick break. Emily drives in, and it's good. It's like that. It's an eight-point eight game, Grant. Yeah. Got to be careful on that. Tammy says, girls are playing a great game. Go Bobcats. Yes, they are. They're on fire tonight. Izzy looking to Miley in the corner. Back to Anna. Ooh, the shot is blocked. Ooh. Anna inside. She goes in. We're going to have a jump. Jump ball. Yeah, jump ball. That's what they called. I, you know, I think it could have been argued. Was there contact there? Also, did she walk? Both those things could have been argued too. But, you know, it's always kind of a 50-50 shot when you just do a jump ball. Yeah. <laughs> when there's just so much going on, you just don't know really what to call. Jump ball. Is a quick jumper. It's not going to fall. Cedar Ridge on the rebound. It was last touch by Marshall. Cedar Ridge is going to have it. And they're going to inbound it. Grant, where's your dad at? I don't know. I think he's working. Cedar Ridge fans. I'm not liking some of these calls. Izzy, three pointer. It does not fall. It was in the corner. Cedar Ridge comes down with a rebound. We're going to have a walk on Cedar Ridge. Couple mistakes. Bobcats capitalizing. But when we make when they make a mistake, Bobcats got a score, and so far the score's not changed. So, what a pass! Long pass, Miley. Miley was trying to go inside. Michaela goes inside. And a Ragle three-pointer looks good. She's got it. Give it to her. 36-25. Continue to bring up the offense. in with it. Looking to 15. Quick jumper. Bobcats come up with the steal. And Audrey's is going to drive in. It's not going to fall. She's fighting for a rebound. Last touch. Anna Raglan almost had the steal, but she just went in a little too late. And she'll be charged with the foul. That'll be her second foul. Though. It's okay. It's third quarter. Four minutes and 39 seconds to go in the third quarter. So here we go. Bobcats, that's a turnover. Bobcats gonna have it. Five, 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 five. 
Izzy, top of the key. Michaela. It was last touched by Cedar Ridge. I mean, I know they had defense, but if they touched, they didn't touch it very much. I think it could have been argued it, it might have been out on the Bobcats, but what's the timeout? Timeout, Cedar Ridge. It's like, what's the call? Four minutes, 21 seconds to go in the third quarter. Again, your score is 36 25. We don't have the score, or we don't have the time on the scoreboard. Haven't had a chance to take it off the graphic, but uh, it's a network camera. It's got lag, so the time that it showed would be off to the real time of the game. It's just too confusing, so we decided just to take it off. I think that was a good idea, don't you, Grant? Yeah. I mean, I know people want the time, but it would be the incorrect time. It might yeah. show four seconds, and there may be one second left, you know? Yeah. So... jamming. Here we go. Ten second violation. Six second penalty. I'm lost. I don't know. I have never heard that call before. A six-second six second penalty? penalty? I'm going to have to Google that because I've I never heard of I've that I don't think I've ever call. heard of them calling that. It, it, it might just be in there. I, I have no idea. I'm not too uh, into the, uh, the rules, knowledge. I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. Steven, if you're on... What is a six second penalty? Because he called 10 seconds, and then they questioned him on, and then he changed it to six. We're gonna have a foul on Izzy. That's her third foul. They're going to take out Izzy. They're going to put Parker in. Three minutes, 27 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cedar Ridge has got it. Bobcats got to play some defense. And they have been playing defense. Yeah. Foul on 15. Four Cedar Ridge. That's her second foul. Michaela, Parker, Miley, to Michaela. Sorry. Yeah, right to Michaela. She drives in and it's good. 40 25. Cedar Ridge with it. I know I've uh, stopped calling the names for Cedar Ridge, but it's just easier to call numbers than, than names, especially because I haven't learned them. Foul gonna be coming on Cedar Ridge. Let's see who they charge the foul to. Charge number one. Sorry. I am all mixed up right now. Marshall was charged with that foul. That will be Parker's second foul. And Cedar Ridge is gonna go to the line for some shots. 
First Thomas free throws up. It's good. Two minutes, 46 seconds left. Score is 40-26. About to end the third quarter here in about two minutes and 46 seconds. Second free throw. No good. Five does save it. The Bobcats are able to get it. Parker with it. Jump ball. Possession arrow is in favor. Cedar Ridge. Good team's taking it. It's going to be a, a push foul called on Miley Harris. It's going to be her first foul. Number That's 15 is up for two shots. It's going to be the team's fourth foul. Free throw. No good. Second one's no good. Foul on number five for Cedar Ridge. That's going to put Anna to the line. For two First free shots. throws up. Yeah, it's not going to fall. You know, you hardly ever see like a uh, a three point, like you know when they're shooting at the three point three line. Point a foul, foul there. Yeah. yeah. And another foul on three. That'll be her third foul. Back to back. Cedar Ridge has got some people in some foul trouble. They've got a couple people who's got three, three fouls. First free throw, good, 41-26. That's not gonna fall. And it was the same person and they fouled and back to back. They're gonna call a walk, call a walk on Cedar Ridge. Bobcat's gonna have it. Cedar Ridge fans did not agree with that. Coach did agree. Parker three-pointer wide open. Mm. Bobcats do come up with the rebound. Gives it right to Audrey, goes in. They call the jump ball. Saw a lot of contact there, but no call for that. All right, another foul. And this foul is going to be on... Number five for C. Sorry, number three. Parker will be charged with this foul, and it will be her third foul. So fives with the line for free throws. So a lot, a lot of fouls being called, Grant. Yeah. It's hard to keep track. Molly's going to inbound the ball. Looking to Anna. Anna's going to dribble. They're setting up a play. Looking back to Miley. Audrey. She wants to drive in, she stopped. Michaela in the wing, looking to Audrey in the corner. She switches back to the wing position. Parker looking to Anna Raglan. Audrey, Miley. 10 seconds left Michaela, on the clock. Michaela, wide open three-pointer. It's not gonna fall. Cedar Ridge does come up with the reap. Found in another walk for Cedar Ridge. That is several walks for Cedar Ridge. Parker's going to inbound, looking to Anna. Miley three-pointer from the wing. It's not going to fall. Three with the rebound. Timeout Cedar Ridge.
Hey, Grant. Well, yeah. never mind. I'd say put the dance cam up, but we don't have enough time to do that, so we won't do that. This is the perfect music for it, too. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, why are they playing this music right when we can't do the dance cam? Find this. To, we need to find which song this is and play it. I'll have to get on to Sean it, yeah. for this. I'll say, look, because he was like, let's put the dance cam up earlier. I was like, well, I'm just joking. We really appreciate Sean Horton for the announcing and yeah. doing the he music does a great and job. stuff. Yes, he does. He knows I pick on him sometimes, and I'm sure he picks on me at times. <laughs> Here we go. So, Cedar Ridge is going to inbound it. We're going to number five. She's going to drive in, and it's going to be good. 44-30. Bobcats 14-point lead. Parker with it. Looking to Audrey. Back to Michaela. Quick spin move. Got to get wide open. Look at the Parker in the wing with the three-pointer. It's not going to fall. Man, I thought that was going in, Grant. Me too, Blaze. And it's going to be rebounded by Cedar Ridge, and they're going to bring it down the court. 10 to 5. Looks to 15. And the rebound for the Bobcats. Michaela kind of got two defenders on her. They're going to leave Anna Ragland wide open in the corner. It does not fall. Bobcats coming a little cold right now on the offense. Ah, Grant, I don't like this. I don't like to become cold right here going into the fourth quarter. Yeah. If this was the end of fourth quarter, I'd be fine with it. But uh, got to be careful that Cedar Ridge because I know they've got some people that can shoot threes. But just like that, Audrey coming up with a steal. Good read. Looking to Michaela. Parker, quick jumper. And he's got it. 46-30 going into the fourth quarter. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Forty-six of thirty. Going to be back in. Lil We Will Rock You action from Sean Horton. We're going to start off the fourth, fourth quarter. Wow. Just now, seven minutes, 50 seconds left on the clock, 46 to 30. Cedar Ridge, 15. Looking to wide open from top of the key. It will not fall. Rebound comes up. <laughs> Molly Harris, three-pointer, give it to her, 49-32. Grant, I take it back on offense, heating back up again. Made that jumper, then a three-pointer. That's a five-point That's a five point increase, Grant, right yeah, there. That's, that's quick. That's quick, yeah. Cedar Ridge. Looking at number three, right underneath that low post position. Goes up. 49-34. Miley, another one. I'm about to say back-to-back -back threes. Sometimes we see it.
five. Look into three. Three's gonna take the three-pointer. It looks good. It's not gonna fall. Five with the rebound. She goes up for the quick floater. It's good. 49-36. Man, I wish there was a better way for us to see the score because there's a dope. There's not too much delay on the Yeah. Molly Harris. <laughs> Looking for that rebound. It's good. 51 36. 15. That won't fall. an interesting call. call. Called it. Called it out of Marshall. I... <laughs> Looking to Miley in the wing. Audrey, top of the key. Keeping it along the perimeter. Looking for somebody inside. Gets it over to Audrey. She's going to drive in. It's not going to fall. And Cedar Ridge comes up with a rebound. Cedar's defense is definitely solid. And uh, they're giving us some issues at times. Five, look at the three. Tried to give it to five inside. They wanted to go up for a quick layup, but it was throwing a little too much power and it will be out of bounds. Bobcat's gonna have it. Anna Raglan with it. Gonna give it right to Michaela. Back to Audrey. Audrey's looking for somebody open. Molly Harris, top of the key, wide open. Yes! She nails that, and it's 54 to 38. Grant, she's had several threes tonight. This is very impressive by our Bobcats yes, to see this impressive. in the first conference game. I'm feeling good about our season. I mean, I was already feeling great about our season, but you know, you have a conference game. And uh, you're playing like this, making shots left and right, three-pointers. This is good. This is a really good thing. Three-pointer. Man alive. Back-to-back -back three-pointers for the Bobcats. And a timeout called for Cedar Ridge. 57-38. This game is really taking off for the Bobcats. Not going to take a break. We're going to keep it with you. Grant, what do you think of the performance? Pretty good. We, you know, we're moving our feet. We're staying on them, really. We are watching where that ball is going. We are moving, you know, we're moving to get where they're trying to go. We're, we're really showing good defense and offense tonight. Absolutely. Overall, we're, we are doing great tonight, phenomenal. Score is 57 to 38. We're in the fourth quarter. This game is about to come to an end soon. Got a good, got a good uh, group that showed up here tonight. The fans support. We got a good four good minutes crew. and about 21 seconds left on the clock. Here we go, five to ten. Back to five. Twenty-five, five. Twenty-five, quick jumper. It's not going to fall. Marsh Bobcats with the rebound. On a fast break. No. 25. 25 was charged with that. They're saying it happened before the shot, so just going to be a foul. Country goes in. She was looking for a foul. There was some contact there, but nothing called.
Shauna, I see your comment. Cannot repeat what you said, but we do see your comment. <laughs> Floater up for Izzy. It's 59, 38. Looking to five. They're gonna call Izzy on a foul. That might be her fourth. Steven, you're 100% correct. He said last season the Lady Bobcats opened the conference season at Cedar Ridge and lost in a close one. Looks like tonight they are trying to make sure they open the conference season with a win. You are 100% correct on that. Bobcats have definitely come to play. And I'm hoping, and I, I'm, the boys, I know they got the same mindset, so we'll, we'll see. It's going to be a tough one. Boy, Cedar Ridge. Senior boys, they are good. But we're good too. So it's gonna be a challenge. Gotta be careful, shot clock. Our Marshall fans getting a little loud now. Anna from downtown. Jump ball. Grant, I would like to know the statistics of how many jump balls we've had tonight because almost every other play is a jump ball. Yes. <laughs> jump ball, jump ball, jump ball, jump ball. They're going to call a foul on Cedar Ridge. It's going to be a baseline foul. Score is 59 to 40. They're going to charge that to number three. That'll Bob, be her fourth foul. Team Bob, second. Bobcats are ahead by 19 points. Two minutes left in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Michaela with it, 61 40. She went up for the quick spin around, and it was good. Yeah, there's times. Time is ticking, Grant. It is. Audrey, she'll give it to Miley. What a good pass. And we're gonna we're gonna take out we're gonna take out both the Blair girls, Michaela and Audrey. What a game that both of them have had, Grant, to start this conference off. All the players that have played tonight have done an outstanding job. You've got three-pointers back-to-back. I mean, just the offense is so exciting looking at our senior high girls game. We're going to have a foul call. It's going to be a minute and 16 seconds left on the clock, 63 to 40. <laughs> Gonna be a foul on Miley Harris. That'll be her second foul. Two to two on the foul count right now. Bobcats are ahead by 23 points. It's a big margin. Yeah, it is. Fourteen gives it to five. Still setting up a play. Look at the fourteen, and it's stolen by Anna Raglan. I think she's gonna hold it. Okay, so they're gonna sub in. Veronica and Kylie is coming in the game. And the Bill is coming in the game. 56 seconds. Anna Raglan, that was really good. Did you, that, you know, people yeah. may say, well, why did she hold the ball? Listen, you're up this many points. There's less than a minute, I mean, it's a respect thing, and, and I love it. I love it. 15, quick jumper. It's not going to fall. 
25 on the rebound, and she goes. It's good for two, 63-42. I better turn on these lights, Grant. Well, they won't be kicking on until I think they're just going to hold. They're going to wait for the last shot. Eleven seconds. Knocked out of bounds. Oh, they're going to stop the clock. Be about seven point five seconds left in the ball game. These lights, these lights are going to go crazy. Parker with yep, the three. There they go. Four seconds. Two. And that's the game. Your final score: sixty-three to forty-two. Bobcats. Get the victory to start the conference play. 1-0. We are excited. Senior high. Boys coming up after this. Don't go anywhere. Final score again, 63-42.
All right, we're gonna be starting off with the senior high boys game. It's gonna be a great game, Blaze. Absolutely. Well, we see somebody said no sound. Well, it was copyrighted material, so we uh, we can't have it on the on the live stream, unfortunately. Here we go. We're about to get this party started with the senior high boys game three pointer quickly. Here we go, Peyton DePriest. It's zero to three right now, Jesse in the corner. Look at the Peyton, Peyton three pointer. That's not gonna fall, Cole tried to get the rebound. Three, with it. Three set of play. It's gonna be a tough matchup. Blocked by Peyton Dupuis. Great block. That was excellent. Bryce goes in. Quick floater. Give it to him. Two to three. There we go. Three pointer. Cedar Ridge with the rebound. Cole. He stole it. Cole has stolen it. He'll give it right to Dylan Tyler. He puts it in for two. Four to three, and the Bobcats take the lead. This is a big game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big game. Three-pointer. I think that was a three. Was that a three? I, I was working on the scoreboard here. Oh, that was here. a three. Three? I thought no so. Good. They shoot a lot of three-pointers, I'm noticing. Quick turnaround. Jesse's there. He wanted, to, he wanted to charge, but he's not going to get it. Cedar Ridge goes up, and it's good. Four to five. This is going to be a battle back and forth, Grant, this will all be night. This is going to be one of those games that you're going to be on the edge of your seat all night. Peyton DePriest, three-pointer. It won't fall. Cedar Ridge with the rebound. Number 22's got it. He's looking at the 24 that was in the corner. They're switching locations. Three wanted the three-pointer, and they're going to call Dylan Tyler on a foul. And a rebound, Jesse on a fast break, he goes up. It won't fall, Cedar Ridge coming back quickly. Three pointer from Cedar Ridge. It won't fall. Dylan Tyler got to be careful. Nope, he stepped out of bounds. Bobcats are going to have it. I was about to say, I thought they were fixing to call a foul on Dylan Tyler Grant, and that would have been his second one. I was getting pretty worried. Here we go, Peyton DePree calling the play. He's setting up play. He's looking to Dylan Tyler. Looking to Cole. Back to Peyton. Peyton's going to give it right to Jesse. Good floater. It's not going to fall, though. Cedar Ridge is going to take it right up. Charge! Yeah, look at that. Grant, if Jesse doesn't get a charge in a game, something's up because guess what? Every single game for the last several he games, gets a charge. he's getting a charge. And that's charge at number 22. That'll be his first. If we can continue to do that and cause some foul trouble to Cedar Ridge, that would really help us here. Because like I said, Cedar Ridge, they're a good team. Peyton DePriest in the corner. Yep, they're going to get a foul on number 10. That was definitely an obvious foul. <laughs> he, he pretty well hit him pretty good. Peyton DePriest. Right to Bryce. Dylan Tyler. He goes up. Shot is blocked. Bryce steals it from him and puts it back up for two points. Six to five in the Bobcats. Have a one-point lead here. This game is getting exciting right now. Oh, my goodness. Turn around, floater. It'll be good. Here we go. Bryce Griffin coming up with it. He's looking to Peyton DePriest. Who's looking to Dylan? Cole in the wing. That looks good. It's not going to fall. Peyton with the rebound. He puts it back up. Eight to seven. I, I, I wasn't planning on screaming until the end, but, man, I'm telling you, it's hard not to get really excited this right now. This is a very intense game. 
Jesse with the block, 22 does get his rebound, does go back up. That was a good play, Dylan Tyler loses it. Hey, this just might uh, be like one of those games where it's just like right on the line. Back and forth, yep, yep. Well, we had a quick turnover, but we can't let that stop us. We gotta keep the intensity going. One turnover does not mess us up. 24 with it, going to Jesse. They're gonna call a walk on Cedar Ridge. Bobcat's gonna get the ball back. Cole, right to Jesse, to Bryce, and he's wide open underneath the goal, and he puts it in. 10 to nine. He was sitting in that low post position. He was ready, he looked yeah. right at Jesse. Jesse gave it to him, and it was right in. Cedar Ridge, we got, oh. We've got to we've got to stop number 22. Jesse, got to be careful on our passes, guys. Cole Harness, you want to drive in? He'll give it right to Jesse. Price, Peyton, three pointer. That looks good. Yes, good. sir. 13 to 11. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. 24. He's going for the quick jumper. It's not going to fall. Look at that, you got two Bobcat guys going after that ball. They were, they're were wanting rebounds. They yes, are wanting rebounds they tonight. Are. They are fighting. This is Bobcat fight. And we knew this is not gonna be a blowout game because Cedar Ridge, man, they're good. Peyton DePriest, another three-pointer. No, nope, it's not gonna fall. We're gonna have a foul called on Dylan Tyler. That's his second foul. We're gonna put Andy in for Dylan. Here we go, Cedar Ridge going to inbound the ball. 22's got it, looking to his coach for a play. Shot is up, it's not gonna fall. Wow. Oh my gosh. Looking to Andy, he'll give it to Peyton. Peyton three-pointer from the corner. It's not gonna fall. Peyton gets his rebound. We're gonna have a foul. On Andy. <laughs> 13 to 11, Bobcats still have a two-point lead. Three-pointer from Cedar Ridge, it rolls out. We've got a foul. On number 30. That'll be his first foul. Grant, last I checked, and it was five minutes ago, we had 168 people watching us. Yes. Bryce, whoa! Wow, Peyton with the save there. He saved that thing. Gives it right to Jesse. Good pass, looking to Cole, and it's it's blocked. Gotta be careful on that. We're gonna call a foul on Jesse. Well, he didn't get it that time. He didn't get it that time, Grant. He tried, he yeah. tried. So, but that's just Jesse's first. First free throw for number 22 is good. <laughs> 13 to 12, an opportunity to tie the game right here. 22 goes up for the free throw and he sinks both of them. We've got a sub. We're gonna take Andy out, we're gonna put Mace. We got a lot of subbing going on. I like, I like what I'm seeing because it's giving opportunity for some of these kids to get rest. Cedar Ridge is a great team. Oh, absolutely. But the Bobcats are also a very great team. Mason, he wanted the three-pointer. He thought about it. He'll give it to Cole. And we are fighting tonight. 
Last touch by Cedar Ridge. Bobcats going to have it. That was a really good eye by the Bobcats to not go after that ball because he could have went after it. He did. Peyton DePriest looking to Cole, and he fakes the three-pointer jumper, and it's good. 15 to 13. Bobcats have a two-point lead. They got 52 seconds place. to go in the first quarter. It's a back and forth. Absolutely. Three with it. Look at the defense. We're not. We're not letting up. Right to 30. His shot's blocked. He goes up. We're going to have a foul. On Cole. That'll be his first. It's five to three on the foul count right now. That free throw is not going to be good. 15, 13, stays the same. Score. Bobcats. Notice you've got three Cedar Ridge guys on this other side. They're confident he's going to make it, and he does. 15, 14. Bryce has got it. He's going to give it to Peyton to Priest. They're setting up a play. Switching sides. you got Bryce right here in the wing. Mason in the corner. And tried to give it to Jesse. He is trapped. And 30 comes up with it. 10. Three-pointer, and it's good. They take the lead. 15-17. Bobcats got a little quiet here. Looking to Cole. To Mason. Cole. Peyton. Peyton to Priest. And that's not going to fall. So we're going to go into the second quarter. 15-17. Bobcats are down two points. We need the Bobcat fans to get loud. Here they are. A lot of fan support tonight. Absolutely. Let's do dance cam, Grant. Actually, never mind, never mind, never mind. Because we, we've still got it on the live stream. I'd have to kill it on the live stream. I mean, I wouldn't have to, but we don't really have permission to broadcast everybody. So, <laughs> Where is Cedar Ridge School from? Shauna says, uh, so they are like Northeast Arkansas. Newark, yep, Stephen, thank you for jumping in there. Newark, Northeast Arkansas, uh, they're, they're near Rector. Uh, I remember, I remember that town well, Rector. They're a mosquito town in my eyes. <laughs> Mosquitoes galore. Cool, thanks guys. You're welcome. Welcome to the broadcast. Here we go. Peyton DePree is going to give it to Cole. Back to Mason. To Cole. And he's looking to... Peyton DePriest, Mason, Cole. The defense was collapsing on him. What a pass. They're going to give it to the Bobcats. Seventeen, seven minutes, 25 seconds left in the second quarter. We needed that, Grant. We did. Three-point attempt from 23, which is Easton Griffin. It's not going to fall. Peyton DePriest over to Mason. And it's going to be blocked by Caden Griffin. I saw a comment. Uh, I, I will do my best to, to say names. Um, I've been just trying to do numbers. It's just easier to, to do that. Um, but I, I've, I wasn't given a roster from Cedar Ridge, but I do have one on Scorebook Live. So I'll, I'll try my best to, to say names. Wow. 
Number 30, Abe Osborne. Abe Osborne is going to put it up. Bryce. He's looking over to Jess. Jess is going to go up for the for the floater. It's not going to fall. Bobcats. They need that. Look at the moves the number 22 has. Caden Griffin. Scores 18-21. I remember him from last year. I, I remember him well. He's an excellent player. To Cole. Bobcats are down three points right now. They need a three-pointer. Cole. Walk. That's a turnover, and that hurts the Bobcats. 18-21 right now is your score. We got six minutes and two seconds to go before halftime. Caden's got it. He'll pass it to Easton. Easton's got it. Easton looking to his man in the corner. Easton's going to take a three. It's not going to fall. Bryce with the rebound. Going to hit the baseline. It's going to be out of bounds. Bobcat's going to have it. Bryce going to give it over to Peyton. Peyton to Dylan Tyler checks back in the game. Peyton DePriest looking to Dylan Tyler. Three-pointer in the corner. It's not going to fall. They called that on Jesse Ragland, second foul. Marshall fans did not agree. We just got to call it like it is here on our broadcast. Yeah, Bryce read that perfectly. And he's going to give it to Cole. Oh, he tried to give it to Jesse. And it's stolen by Cedar Ridge. Quick move. They're going to get five on another foul. He ran right into him. Good call for the ref. Easton Griffin is going to be fouled. That'll be Cole Harness' second foul. Grant, we're in some foul trouble. We are. A little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. We've got a couple guys that's got two fouls. Score is 18-21. Four minutes and 47 seconds left. Goes in for a three and it just Three pointer is good. 18-24. Hands it over to Jesse. Jesse back to Ferran over to Peyton. Peyton over Ferran. to Ferran. Over to Dylan Tyler. Oh, Peyton DePree's to three pointer. Three. It doesn't fall. Come out. Little, little break in the action here. What? What? Uh, not that. I just said go Bobcats. <laughs> no, not that. Oh, okay. Here we go. Cedar Ridge has got it. Rice tried to go in for the steal.
quick jumper. It's not going to fall. Cedar Ridge comes up with the rebound. Three with it. He'll go up. It's not going to fall. Peyton secures the rebound. Let's play smart. 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 Jesse Ragland, three-pointer. That's not going to fall. Peyton fights for the rebound. That three-pointer won't fall. Bryce Griffin on the rebound, and he's going to bring it back. A lot of activity happening here. Peyton DePriest goes up, and a foul. Give him the two shots. Or give him the shot, and he's going to go to the line for a shot. 20 to 24. Bobcats are down four points. Opportunity to only be down by three. That'll be charge number three. That'll be his first foul. Let me find three here. And that's going to be Kyle. Kyle Province. I believe I said that right. Hope so. And Cedar Ridge, I know we got a lot of Cedar Ridge people watching, so if I'm saying the name wrong, please let me know. Three point attempt. Dylan Tyler, that's Dylan Tyler's third foul. We are in some foul trouble. on another foul. That's three for him. Our, our guys are in foul trouble. This is not good, Grant. This is not what we needed. No. So one of our Marshall players shouted out, said he he wasn't shooting. Well, here's the deal. Then one of Cedar Ridge said, well, learn the rules. Well, here's the thing. It's four to one on the foul count. So if it was not a shooting foul, and I mean, but I'm pretty sure it was a shooting foul, but I'm saying it, the five to one foul rule did not apply to that specific shot because it's four to one on the foul count. So. Jumper, it's not going to fall. Jesse with the rebound, and we got a foul to see the red. It's four to two on the foul count right now. Four fouls for the Bobcats, two fouls for Cedar Ridge. They were charged with their next foul. That will be on number 10. That'll be his second foul. That's Matt Hendricks. Jesse, first free throw. Steven, I know you're watching. We talked about the free throws. We have talked about free throws left and right. It was last touched by Cedar Ridge. Yep. I agree with that call. And even if I don't, well, you gotta call it like they, like they call it. Andy over to Jesse. To Pate. Looking to Jesse. Right to Andy. He wanted a three pointer. Rice also. He goes up for the quick jumper. It won't fall. Jesse Raglan with the rebound. He goes up. It won't fall. And Cedar Ridge with the rebound. Gotta be. Yep. Oh. They're going to get 22 with a foul. That's Caden Griffin. That'll be his second foul. Score right. is 20-25. Does Bryce Two have any fouls, Grant? Uh, if he does, he's got one. So yeah, one, one foul. Andy with it. Andy will pass it to Jesse. Who gives it right to Bryce inside, and that's good. 22-25. It's a three-point difference. 
Peyton had. Matt Easton pretty covered up, but he was able to break free. They're looking yeah. to their man in the corner for the three-pointer. It won't fall. Cedar Ridge with the rebound. Bobcats, we have got to get rebounds. If we're not getting rebounds, because if they rebound it, they give it to a three-pointer, just like that, they're going to score, and it's a six-point difference. We have got to get uh, rebounds. I almost said free throws, but, yeah, we got to get free throws too, but we got to get rebounds. Bryce looking to Peyton. Peyton three-pointer. We need it. That won't fall. He throws it out. Peyton to Priest. He's on a quick break. He goes up for two. It's good. 24-28. Bobcats trailing four points. They're going to call a foul. On for on. That'll be his first. And to the line that's going to be shooting is Caden Griffin. Caden free throw up. Five point difference. Second free throw up. It's not gonna fall. Jesse with the rebound. Got a little bit of time. We got 46 seconds. Andy, and it's stolen. And it's going to be Bobcat ball. Defense by the Bobcats. Cedar Ridge wanting a foul. There was a little bit of contact there, but the ref did not call it. I'm very thankful for that, though. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. It's just a five for the ball. Twenty-three. He's gonna be charged with that foul. That'll be Easton Griffin. That's his first. Andy Granado at the line. Bobcats are down five points right now. They're fighting though. Andy's free throw. It's not gonna fall. Steven says Bobcat zero three from the free throw line. Cedar Ridge four and six. We make that. That's good. 25-29. Caden. He goes up. Three-pointer. It won't fall. Jesse. And we're going into halftime. 25-29. Bobcats trailing by four points. We got just a little bit of work to do, Grant. We're going to show the cheerleaders, and then we will take a break, and we will switch to the dance cam. Here we go.
All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with you. Don't go anywhere.
And we're back, fixing to start the third quarter. And it's been a fun one so far. It has. Cole with it. We got our, well not all of our starters back in, but several of them. Cole, he's looking over to Peyton. Back to Cole, to Bryce, to Peyton. Yep, they're gonna get a foul on number 10. That may be his fourth, or maybe third, maybe third. I just can't remember. His third, yep. I knew it wasn't his first. Jesse, he's kind of trapped. Pass over to Mason, it's blocked, but he gets it back. Peyton DePriest three-pointer. It's not gonna fall. Need to make those threes. Yeah, we're only down by four though. We do, that would bring us in one. We can't let them bust the three-pointer. Yep, we got the rebound there. 7 minutes to go in the third quarter. Peyton DePriest looking to Bryce. Back to Peyton, three-pointer from the corner. It looks good, and guess what? It is, 28-29, just like that. Bobcats working, and now they're down within one. And just like that, the answer back is Caden Griffin with another three. Bobcats down yet again by four points. Peyton to Mason. Farrar. Easton's gonna knock it out. Peyton to Jesse, back to Peyton. Bryce, he's looking to Peyton, three-pointer. And it is good as well. 31-32 and the Bobcats are again within one. Now if we can just get past this and one part and we can score 23, that is in. I knew it the moment it went in. I was like, wow. And yet again, the Bobcats are down by four. <laughs> Mason, he takes a three. That looks good. It's not going to fall. And a walk on Cedar Ridge. Did you see that play? Yes. He bounced it over him. Or bounced off it on. Him. To get it back. Peyton DePriest three-pointer. That won't fall. Bobcats do get the rebound. Jesse goes up and he puts it in for two. 33-35. Bobcats gotta keep the intensity up. That shot is not gonna fall. Peyton DePriest with the rebound. He secures that rebound. He's looking to Bryce in the wing. He'll pass it to Ferran. Ferran looking back in the wing. Looking to inside. Jesse right there in the low post. He'll give it to Andy. Three-point attempt. And he and it's good. In. And the Bobcats take the lead again. 36-35. Can't leave anybody open. And they're going to do a charge. And that'll be charged. And the Bobcat fans are loving it. And that's going to be charge number 21. That'll be his first. There's nothing you can argue. He was, his feet were planted. He does that very well. I would say, my opinion, we should just call him the charge Jesse. Peyton DePriest, three. Ah. It slides out. Boy, if we could have made that 39-35, that would be huge. But they're going to return a three. That is not going to fall. Braun's going to come up with a rebound. Peyton DePriest goes in and give it to it. 38-35. Bobcats have a three-point lead. Grant, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Let's go. Let's keep it going. Intensity got to pick up. And it is. Bobcats getting loud in here. We're making noise. Came out of the half and we are fighting. Let me just tell you. Twenty-two with it. 
Caden Griffin. They're going to call another foul. On Jesse. That's his third foul. I love when he does that, Grant. When he looks at the coach and he's like, he does this, he's like, keep me in. I won't do it again. Just trust me. Shauna says, video quality is great. Let's go Bobcats. Absolutely. We got a, we got a good system and we got a good cameraman. Thank Grant you. Grant Horton over here. Appreciate that. Ooh, we got to be careful on that. Bryce with the rebound. He gets it. And the Bobcats, Bobcats. coming back the other way. Yeah. It's 38-36. Bobcats have a two-point lead. I feel like we are being very – Wow. You know, Look at the Jesse. And offensive tonight. You know, we're being very defensive tonight, and, and we need it, you know. Sorry, I'm focused. What would you say? <coughs> I, I just Sorry, was I said, zoned into this. We are very defensive tonight, you know. We are very, yeah. I mean, we're fouling some, too, and it's hurting us. Yeah, but it we're, is. we're kind of sliding down on the fouling just a little bit. What was that? 38-36, Bobcats have a two-point lead here. Three minutes and 34 seconds to go in the third quarter. Fans are loud. It is loud in here. I'm sure y'all can hear it. Three, he's just going to drive it. No, he's looking to his man out in the corner who's going to drive and then gives it right back. What they're doing is they're trying to get somebody open. We're going to have a foul call on number two. That's going to be Andy. That'll be his second foul. I don't know who's saying that. 23 in the corner, wide open. Timeout called. That was Easton Griffin on that three-pointer. That was good. And just like that, Cedar Ridge takes the lead, 38-39. Grant, this is a game. This is. And we told you guys it would be. And it is. And we still got another quarter. This quarter ain't even close to being over, and we got another one. When you play really aggressive defense, like we're playing, chances are you're going to foul. And, and yeah. we've got some fouling going on. So let's see what happens here. No press from Cedar Ridge. And Peyton DePriest is looking for an open man. He'll give it to Bryce. Bryce considered taking it. Ferran. Really long pass to Peyton. on he'll give it right to Jesse Jesse turns around he puts it up for two wow 40 to 39 gotta get down there quick we do they were gonna try to take a fast break we stopped them quick forced them to restart from the top of the key looking to his man and the shot is blocked and they steal it right back. Got to be careful on our passes, Bobcats. We cannot let that happen. That's Ferran's second foul. And 
you can't leave people wide open. But he missed it. I think Bobcat's gonna slow this down a little bit. We got a one point lead here. Don't gotta do anything crazy. Ferran, looking to Peyton. He wanted the three pointer. Andy from the corner three, it's gonna roll out. Jesse on the rebound. And they're gonna get a foul on Cedar Ridge. That will be on number 30. And that's his second foul. And he's gonna take it again. That won't fall. There's about a minute and 45 seconds left. He busted in this one earlier. Or in this quarter. Scores 40-39, Bobcats ahead by one point. Look at the quick passing for Cedar Ridge. They're going to their inside guy. And it's good for two. 40-41, Cedar Ridge leads it by one point. Such a good game here. To Ferran, he passes it in. Looking to Andy. Andy's shot was blocked. Peyton DePriest goes back up for it. It's not gonna fall. And it is a race. 22, gonna go in, it's not gonna fall. 30 with the rebound, gives it to 23. Quick jumper, it won't fall. Ferran with the rebound, and he gives it to Bryce. Gotta be careful here, looking to Andy. To Ferran, cannot slow pass. Peyton the Priest on the block, and they're gonna give him a foul. Peyton DePriest is going to be charged with that foul. That'll be his first foul of the game. He thought he had all ball. And uh, here we go. And that free throw is good. Cedar Ridge has a three point lead here. Looking to Bryce, he puts it in for two and it's good. 42-43. 23, he's gonna go right back up. He gives it to 22, it bounces out, it's a battle. Three comes up with it, that's a three pointer. I thought that was going in, they do save it. They give it back to Cedar Ridge. And Cedar Ridge puts it in for two. Jesse, three-pointer, he takes it! 45-45 in a tie game, right? It's a buzzer beater. And we're going into the fourth quarter tie. This is a game right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, 45-45. What a game. Hey, we're gonna take a break. We'll be back with you. Don't go anywhere. And we're coming out of this break. It's 45-45 right now. It's a tie game. Fourth quarter is fixing to start. Fans are loud. The intensity is growing. This is an intense game, Grant. Oh, my goodness.
curious to know how many we got watching us right now. We got over 200. Looking to Cole. Cole's check back in the game. He's looking to Bryce. Bryce goes up. That won't fall. Well, they're going to give that to, uh, who did they charge that to? Oh, Bryce Griffin. His first. Okay, so we don't have any fouls. Bobcats knocked the ball away. And Peyton puts it in. Jesse with the rebound, and we're going to have a foul. Yes, sir. That's what we needed. 207. Thank you, Shauna. Great clutch shot by Jesse. Absolutely. I'm telling you, that was it hit the backboard and just bounced right. It was a perfect shot, man. We're heading you know, into the fourth quarter. This is the last bit of the game. This is where you cannot miss free throws. First one is a miss. As a broadcaster, it's just it's a tough job because Second one's a miss. you just know, I mean, that's basically three points, literally. We're still tied, 45-45. He goes up, quick jumper. So Cedar Ridge has a two-point lead up on the Bobcats. What we need is a three-pointer. Yeah, we do. I think it's a, I, I want to say it may be a leg cramp. But I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. He's, he's hurting. No, it may, no. No, I don't, he's injured. We're gonna see. He may try to walk it out in the locker room. I don't know, but man, you hate to see that kid go because he has been an all-star player for Cedar Ridge. Oh my goodness. Golly. So much activity in this game. That's his fourth foul, there. One more foul on him, and he's out. Uh, I'm looking over towards Cedar Ridge, uh, their bench, to see if he comes back in. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's just a it's just a leg cramp, and and he could just kind of walk it out. I'm, I, that's what I'm hoping for. Second I could do wrong, up and it's good. He may have come down. I mean, he came down pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, hopefully he's. And I'm all just right. hoping he didn't like sprain his ankle or something. It's definitely something to do with the ankle because that appears to be where he was holding. So, you always, when you're playing basketball, you never want to see injuries, and you never want anybody to get hurt. And so, when you have a game like this, you know, and, and you have an injury, that's that's tough. Six minutes to go in the game. Peyton the Priest with it. He goes up for the quick floater. He's got it. We got a tie again. 49-49. Tie ball game. Five minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. 49-49. This game is going to be coming to an end shortly, boys. Hey, he's he's back out, but he's not checking in the game yet. Not sure. Timeout, Timberwolves. Timeout, Timberwolves. Uh. 
Did I miss something? Why is everybody, why is everybody like, all of our Marshall fans were like yelling and stuff. I, They were mad he called the timeout. He had it to give. <laughs> we have four. Now. We've four. got five. For five. But but Cedar Ridge is the one that called it a timeout. I, oh. I don't know why they were yelling. Nothing I saw required that. But. Ooh. 23. Now Peyton's got to be careful. Yeah. We got five minutes and 28 seconds left in this game. Cedar Ridge is leading two points. Dylan Tyler right to Bryce. Don't call a foul. On 12, 21, that'll be his second foul. Right to Dylan Tyler and a foul. And Grant, number 22 is going back in the game. It's good to see him. It's good to see him uh, back for the injury. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was probably just a leg cramp, and I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what it was. So. Dylan Tyler free throw. Uh huh. 50 51. Ian says, let's go Cedar Ridge. Welcome to the broadcast, Ian. Hey, we love bringing the game to both Marshall and Cedar Ridge people. Yeah. And obviously we are the Marshall Sports Network, so we're going to be in favor of Marshall. But, you know, we like to call the game fair and, and as we see it. So, yeah. 22 with it. Yep, that's oh, my goodness. It's just a fight for the ball. Dylan Tyler gets it. He's... A lot happened right there. Pole three, this looks good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> and it was. Bobcats have a three point lead. Four minutes and 45 seconds to go in this game. This is big, this is a conference game. This game really matters. We talk about games this season that we've played that are non-conference, and they matter too, but this one really matters. They go up. We're going to have a foul. Let's see who they're going to charge foul to. A Cole. Nope. No. Nope. That's Tyler. Dylan Tyler's fourth. fourth. Be do, you, do you sub him out? I don't know. I actually, I mean, we need him. And another foul on Bryce. Of our players to foul out. Free throw is good. 54-54. Tie game. Wow. Oh my goodness. Three pointer. And he's got it. Cedar Ridge up three, four minutes to go in the game. Cole Harness with it. He wants to take another three-pointer, and I thought he was going to. Dylan Tyler, quick jumper. That won't fall. Number 22 with a rebound. That's Caden. Over to Lawson. Back to Caden. He's going to go up for the quick jumper. It won't fall. Oh 
We got a timeout for the Bobcats. Uh, we're not going to take it with them. We're just going to stay right here. Regular live programming. Three with it. Ooh, that was close. Defense by Bobcats was very solid. It's not leaving anybody open. Bobcats have four, Cedar Ridge has two. to go, 59, 54. Dylan Tyler looking to Cole. He wanted the three-pointer. He'll give it to Jesse, who gives it to Peyton. Peyton thought about shooting the three-pointer. Dylan Tyler in the corner. That won't fall, Jesse with the rebound. And he goes back up for two and it's good, 56, 59. I said, I'm all for We need a three. We need a three. Three-pointer. Bobcats wanting to walk on that. I, I would have to agree with them. Cole Harness with the three-pointer to back it up. Timeout, Bobcats. Full timeout. Smart move, we got him. Take him. Three point difference here. That's very smart by Coach Smith to you know, save all of the timeouts. I don't make, Bobcats have three timeouts. We can use those to our advantage. Absolutely. And, you know. We need the fans to get on their feet and make some noise. Let's talk about what we need. We need a three. Am I right? Right. We need a three. We're only down by three points. And a two pointer. Well, to. You know, we kind of, you know, bring up to the take score. the lead. Bring yeah. Up the score, take the lead. We're definitely fighting back. That's for sure. But like we said, I mean, Sears, just such a good team. And we knew that coming into this game. But the Bobcats, they've not quit yet. This game's not over. They're only down three. And that's all we need. We just need a three-pointer. We just got to get a stop here. Peyton's got a couple fouls to give, okay? Dylan Tyler does not. Charge. Charge. Number 22. And let's see, that's his third foul. Now this could get interesting, Grant. He may get into some foul trouble if he gets another foul. But I don't think so. No, there's only one minute, 55 seconds left in this yeah. game. So, no, I don't think so. But it does help us. Obviously, they're not going to take him out of the game. But Bryce. Jesse gets yeah. in there and gets the rebound, 62-61. I'll take it. Wanda Two Wilson, I good. love your comment. Two good teams. But, hey, you love the Cedar Ridge. Yeah. That's understandable. You're from Cedar Ridge. So, but two good teams. You're 100% correct on this. This is, this is a big game right here. It is.
That helps. That helps. He missed the free throw. Caden Griffin at the line. Second free throw up. It's good. All right, they got a two-point lead here. A minute, ten seconds to go in the game. This is huge. Marshall fans need to be standing up. To Dylan, to Peyton, to Cole. Bryce goes in, and he's going to be fouled. Let's see who they're going to charge that to. We need to make these two. We're going to charge that to 21. No, we need to make these free throws. That's his third Absolutely foul. Absolutely need to. Grant, several of the players have three fouls, but that doesn't help us any because there's 54 seconds left. If this was like the first or second, well, obviously the first quarter probably wouldn't have three. First one's good. Bryce Griffin coming up with the first free throw. We needed that. It's 54.7 seconds, and it's 62 to 63. 54.7 seconds. Second free throw. Place has gotten quiet in here. East and it's both of them. This is the opportunity where you cannot miss a free throw. It's a tie game, 63-63. Let's see how we respond. 50 seconds left. Either team the fouls. They're sending either team to the free throw line. So that's something to note. All right, so here's the deal about that. Marshall fans are wrong. <laughs> Cedar Ridge is correct. It was out of bounds on us. It hit his foot. I just watched it. You can't see it from their angle because they're on the other side, but it was definitely out of bounds on our team. Wide open three-pointer. You can't do it. Like, you can't leave him open. You just can't. 22 seconds. We need a three. We do have timeouts. Thank goodness. Cole Harness, three-pointer, that looks good. That won't fall. We got a foul quickly. Six point five seconds, 66 to 63, or 63 to 66. Oh, timeout, Marshall. We got timeouts, so we're okay. We're down to two, but now we're tied with Cedar Ridge on timeouts. Marshall's down three points. We're gonna have Cedar Ridge at the line. They. Okay, plan of action. This is tough, Grant. They need to oh my miss goodness. these two free throws. We need to make a three, quickly. So here's what you do. You hope he misses the free throws. Yes. Okay? If he misses both of them, probably not going to happen because they're doing pretty good on the free throws. He misses them. Then you call a timeout as soon as you have possession of the ball because there's 6.6 .6 seconds. Call a timeout. Drop a play. Get it to the three-point line as quick as possible. Shoot the three and hopefully tie. If he makes this, it's going to become a two-possession game or a three-pointer and a foul. We'll see what happens here. First free throws up. He makes it. It's a two-possession game. Free throws, good. It's a five-point difference. Timeout, Cedar Ridge. Hard to, hard to do, Blaze. 
Here we go. Great. Great. Here we go. Dylan Tyler, three pointer. It won't fall. That's game. Final score 68 63. This is a tough, tough loss for the Bobcats. I'm speechless. This is tough. Well, guys, we're going to be live Thursday. Because there's a game Thursday and there's a game Friday. We'll be live for both those. Got anything else, Grant, you want to say? Grant, you got anything else? Oh, you took your headphones off. Got anything else you want to say before we end the stream? No, no. Not anything else. Two great teams. This was a great game. Congratulations to Cedar Ridge on the win. Unfortunately, Bobcats will start conference play 0-1. to Just a tough loss. We'll see everybody. Thursday.